Hello, hello, and welcome back to another edition of Our Positive Word. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining me. Forever friend. The loneliness in this world, even when one is in a crowd, within a family, in a relationship, is just unspeakable. There are so many folks out there who are feeling very lonely, dejected, abandoned, isolated. I come back to let you know today that we do have a forever friend in Christ Jesus. He is that friend that will never leave us nor forsake us. He is the friend who will be with us through every and any situation. When everyone else goes away, he sticks around. Do you know him? Have you met him? We are never completely alone, even when we do feel lonely. This is because we've got that forever friend, our personal forever friend, who is constantly present with us everywhere you know the unique thing about being a friend with jesus is the fact that he is a personal close friend to you and he is a personal close friend intimate with me i feel safe with him i can tell him stuff enjoy his presence just like you can as well you may have a very close friend a human being like yourself i will have one and maybe we have that mutual friend that friend at some point will feel overwhelmed if they have to be there for you and I, but not our Lord Jesus. This God of ours has the capacity to have all of us, all the over 8 billion people in the world as intimate personal friends. Don't you want this absolutely divine personality? in your life we're told in proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 and there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother i know that uh, in my life i have found people who, who are not related but they have become bosom friends and now i refer to them as my brothers my sisters that's not what i'm talking about where jesus is concerned i'm talking about that friend who sticks with you through and through, no matter the situation, the season, the event of life. Those people who I, I now describe as my brothers and sisters, there are times when I need them because they're busy with life as well. They're not there for me. But I, don't, I never feel like that with the Lord Jesus. We're told in Psalms 119 verse 90, God's faithfulness is established unto all generations. The faithfulness of this friend, this forever friend, carries on. It doesn't stop where we where my mom's friend is my mom's friend, can't be my friend. Jesus is the friend to the father, the grandfather, the great grandfather, the great great grandfather, the grandchildren. All the generations get to enjoy this personal friendship. Come on, my friend. I'm sure you want to have this friend who is waiting, who has invited all of us to come. We're told in John chapter 15. I'm going to read verse 13 to 15. Greater love has no man than this that a man lays down his life for his friend. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Verse 15 says, Henceforth I do not call you servants, for the servant doesn't know what his Lord does. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard of my Father I have made known to you. Wow. Wow. The friend who laid down his life for us. That's Jesus. 
I do not know any other human being who had given their lives or who would want to give his or her life for another. Jesus has done that for all of us. He says we are his friends. Yes, we have to do his commands, but he calls us friends. I have called you friends. We are not servants. We are his friends. We are part of his kingdom, his family. That is something unique, divine. Jesus is the omnipotent one, the omnipresent one. He's ever present, cheering us on. Through all the achievements, everything we are bold enough to tackle, no matter how difficult they might appear, he is cheering us as we boldly take them on. He comforts us in our, in our time of sorrow when our hearts are broken. He's there to hold us and give us comfort. He is our healer, the one who would take away pain and restore us. He's the one who wipes away tears from our eyes when we cry from the pains of life, from betrayal, losses, or frustration. He wipes our tears away. He directs our steps on the right path when we get lost to help us come back and find our way back to, to the way we need to go. He waits patiently for us to return home when we go astray. When we break his heart, he waits. He's patient with us. He's compassionate. He supplies our needs when we lack. He understands those needs and he supplies them at the perfect time. Jesus is the light in the darkness, which we knowingly or unknowingly walk into. Yes, those relationships, those friendships that we choose for ourselves that turn sour. He helps us to come back. He's the one guiding us in his truth and the only way home to his kingdom with our heavenly father. This friend who sticks closer than a brother is your friend. He's my friend. He's our forever friend. We are never alone. Whether we choose Jesus Christ or not, he is always with us as our forever faithful friend, the one we can trust. You can trust him. The world may pretend to have your back at some point. Yes, for some time, they've got your back. But they will immediately desert you, drop you, the moment you disagree with them or you criticize them. Your forever friend, Jesus Christ, is available. Are you humble enough to receive him? Are you fed up with all the betrayals and backstabbings that you have suffered from all the friendships that you have tried to engage in? Why, don't, why do you want to settle for less, for heartaches, for pains, when you can have the one who says he will never leave you nor forsake you? Our forever friend is available, my friend. Jesus Christ is our forever friend. And he's waiting for you to come. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. As you heed to the forever friend. God bless you.